Hey guys, just wanted to let you know that today's episode, Tuesday's episode, was shot in advance because we have an on-location shoot today that will air tomorrow, Wednesday, on FLD. Now we shot that before the tragic events transpired in Boston yesterday, which were just terrible. So we want to take the time out to let all you guys know that everyone here at FLD's thoughts and prayers are with everyone who was affected by those tragic events. It sucks and people are idiots. All right, so we hope that today's episode of Fast Lane Daily can at least bring a smile to your face, give you your news like we normally do, and uh, maybe take your mind off what's going on for a while. So, you know, as they say, the show must go on. So take it away, me. A forgotten Lamborghini concept is up for sale. Just a couple mil, no big deal. A Ferrari owner is pissed, almost literally. Audi wants to make some major design changes, and BMW names its Chinese-only sub-brand Zenoro. Plus, don't try to drift when you can't. It's not gonna end well. What's up, everybody watching this? If you're new here, nice to meet you. I'm Derek D, and this show is Fast Lane Daily. Welcome. Oh, so that's what this show is. And we're back. BMW has partnered up with Chinese auto firm Brilliance to create a sub-brand below its mini offerings for the Chinese market. Brilliance, huh? Come on. Hello. Bragging. Right. Right? Anyway, the brand will be called Zenoro, and it will likely specialize in green cars, not painted green cars. I'm talking about environmentally friendly cars. One of them will be an EV crossover based on the X1, and another will be an EV based on the last generation 3 series. Apparently, one of the benefits to releasing a Chinese sub-brand is that BMW can create more local facilities, which might even distribute Zenoro cars to Europe down the line. What's this mean for the U.S., Tom? Nothing at all. Yeah, nothing. Is that right? Yeah, we're not getting it here or anything. Ugh. Huh. It's fine. According to Car and Driver, Audi is preparing to majorly alter its vehicle designs, starting with a total restructuring of the design studio in Ingolstadt. Audi has hired designers from Alfa Romeo and Seat, plus ex-Bentley chief designer Dirk von Brackel is now in charge of the motorsport division's look and feel. Audi's chief designer Wolfgang Egger said the brand's scalable designs are over, so it looks like some very different models on the Audi horizon. So in other words, Audi's molecular construction will be adversely altered due to the new design orchestration henceforth. Well, nice. Oh, wow. Okay. Many of you may have seen this next clip from YouTube prankster Roman Atwood, but we felt we had to comment on it. The prankster notices a parked Ferrari 360, but the owner had parked it in a handicapped spot without any tags, and he doesn't seem at all handicapped, physically, anyway. Using a punctured water bottle, the prankster peed on the hood of the car for a moment before the Ferrari owner comes running out and goes friggin' ape shit on the guy. Even knowing it was a water bottle, he's still going nuts. After pushing doesn't seem to work, the crazy owner yells, I could buy your whole family. I could buy your whole family, mother Wow. Really, guy? I wonder what the actual purchase price of an entire family is. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, good luck with your karma there, buddy. Parking in a handicapped spot is just a straight-up douche move. And in your Ferrari, it makes you look 100% more douchey. I guess you could say he was pissed. <laughs> so for those who thought the outrageously styled Lamborghini Veneno supercar from this year's Geneva Auto Show came out of Randomville, I would like you to recall a very similar intro from the Italian automaker back in 1998. The Pregunta Paris concept was a jet-inspired carbon fiber creation, also controversially styled as well. That was based off the Lamborghini Diablo and used the V12 from that same car, making 530 <laughs> of those. Here it is racing a jet and losing, eventually. It was revealed at the 98 Paris Motor Show and was the last concept built before Audi bought the brand. Now, I know in Italian, pregunta means question, which makes sense, it's named that, because everyone was like, why the hell did Lambo make this? Question. Anyway, the current owner of this Pregunta is now selling it for a very reasonable $2.1 million. So uh, don't wait. Call now. I want to get the jump on that one. Yeah. Right? Seems that way. You know what? There's always going to be wannabe drifters out there. Take this guy. He's hardly drifting when he makes his first attempt. Then he tries again and, uh, yeah. A wall got in the way, apparently. I mean, I guess, yeah, 
Yeah. Just moronic. Right. You know? You're doing it wrong. Yeah. That's not how you drift. He wasn't even drifting. He was just like trying to turn yeah. well. Like, I don't know what he was doing. It was yeah. so bad. Yeah. Uh, what'd you think? I, I thought yeah, I thought he thought he was gonna like pull it at the last moment. No, yeah, but right into the wall he goes. Yeah. You guys wanna watch that again? The link is in the description. Anyway, that'll do it for Fast Lane Daily today. I'm Derek D. We're on that Twitter. Yeah, we are. Facebook, like us there, okay? And YouTube, subscribe, iTunes, watch, Instagram, pictures, t-shirts, wear them, FLD app. Oh, and speaking of the FLD app, I saw a commenter, I saw a comment by YouTuber, that RC thing, and he said this, and I thought it was, you know, worth mentioning on the show. I don't know if you know this, Derek, but I can watch you guys on my Windows phone through the app market in the podcast section. The reason I bring this up is because you only mentioned iOS market, aka iTunes. Keep it up. You guys are bows. Bows. So yeah, I guess there is a way for Windows phone users to Yeah, sure. There you go, Tom. And that's that. Goodbye. It's the Pass Lane Daily team on assignment. Oh, excuse me, sir. Can I drive this truck? Cool. You push it up? Down, down. Yeah. In and down. I suck. How's this going? Nice. Oh, yeah. No, I didn't get it. Starting with a lodal. <laughs> what? Total. Why did I say lodal? You can tell you was hard to know the Chinese auto for our brilliance. To Curtis saw her in the... What'd you say? Oh, yeah, that, that Lamborghini Aventador. Right. That the Dubai cops got? Right, not fast enough. Not fast enough, so they're getting a Ferrari, I believe? Yeah. We'll take a break. We'll be right back after this. Thanks for watching. Ow.